The Sacramento Law and Legislative Committee recently met to discuss four new possible gun control laws aimed at combating the rise in gun violence here in our community. Fox 40's Juliet Smith has more details on the recent meeting and shares how local residents are reacting. The committee has passed the motion and forwarded the item to City Council for further consideration and review. Emotional testimony at the committee meeting from those who have been affected by gun violence in our community. It's also uh, a reminder uh, about you know, how, um, uh, how fragile life really is. The proposals include stopping the sale of firearms at home, banning minors from entering gun stores, requiring gun owners to have liability insurance, and paying a $25 annual fee. Sacramento resident Judy Haling says these proposals are a good start to a problem she knows all too well. One of my children was killed by a gun, so I'm totally for gun control. She says that seeing gun violence continue two decades after her child's passing is tough. It's terrible. It's the number one cause of death in children is just inexcusable. Another Sacramento resident shares some exceptions to the newly proposed rules. I would like to uh, agree with that laws, new regulations. So, but uh, about the minor part, maybe with some paperwork it will be okay. Like 25 dollars could be a bit more. But a California gun advocacy leader disagrees. We will never be able to wipe out eagle, evil. So law-abiding citizens have to have the ability to defend themselves. Executive Director of Gun Owners for California, Sam Paredes, who has advocated to protect the Second Amendment for 45 years, understands the committee's concerns, but he says they're going about it the wrong way. Uh, we believe that, that our authorities, the law enforcement, should be focusing on crime control as opposed to gun control, which are laws that only affect the law-abiding citizens. As for the $25 yearly fee, he says... You cannot put a tax or a fee on the exercising of a constitutional right. And thinks minors should be allowed in gun stores. What better opportunity do parents have than to take their youngsters to a gun store so that the kids can first -hand, receive first-hand knowledge on how the lawful transfer, storage, and sales of, of guns occurs? Residents both for and against the motion now await the next steps and what this could mean for the city of Sacramento. In Sacramento, covering local news that matters, I'm Juliette Smith, Fox 40 News.